When I joined Tempo Storm, I knew our team was great. We're some of the best players in the game. We're some of the best in the game. I mean, look at me. Look at me. But if we're gonna become legendary, we're gonna need a coach. We're gonna need a coach. Someone who can help us reach our full potential. Someone who really understands the game. Someone who can really help us reach our potential. We need, we need, we need Chalky. 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 I'm Chalky, and I'm the new coach for Tempo Storm Hearthstone. So I would say me joining Tempo, basically, you know, Muzzy and Amnesiac, two guys that I've worked with on tournaments, uh, kind of just expressed like that they really wanted me on the team. And, you know, Raynad and Tempo respected that. And it's like, you know, well, the, the team wants him, like, let, let's get him. And so I'm pretty happy to be working with, you know, people that want me and a team that wants me. And it's really cool to me that I get to join one of the true, like, grassroots teams in Hearthstone. I think in the past, like 2015, 2016, I was really focused on like winning my first tournament or winning a tournament or kind of just like proving to people that it's like, no, I am one of the best. And now I think I have more of like a, an objective view on that and it's not like as huge of a goal to me. And I've always been really excited for my friends to succeed, but now I kind of have another attachment to that where it's like, you know, I was definitively part of that process and that's, you know, it's them winning the tournament and that's great for them as an individual, but it's also a big success for like us as a unit. When it comes down to how you're, how you're performing in a meta, it, it is really just the amount of preparation you did beforehand and whether or not that hit the mark. Like the things you would never think matter, Chalky's probably spent hours thinking about. We'll kind of try and do specific practice sets where uh, it's really nice now that we have four people, you can kind of pair up two and two. The idea is every day we have a, a goal for what we're practicing and what we want to get out of it. Our team dynamic, sort of, we have these two people, you know, saying, me, I, I think we have an instinctual sense in Hearthstone on what to do. Having Chalky and Amnesiac on the analytical side, the combination is going to lead to a very great year for us. Uh, it's kind of a different dynamic, and we're trying to bring it all, all together in group sessions. He keeps up with all the events. He keeps up with all the tour stops, everything like that, because a lot of the work happens before tournaments and we want to make sure that our time isn't wasted there. But I will say during a tournament there is no person I'd rather have in the world than Chalky. If I was ever in a weird scenario, like let's say I was playing a top 8 qualifier match, Chalky would be able to look at it and be like, alright, you need to do this, that, and this. Don't keep this card, keep this card. Make sure you apply pressure here but not in this way because it's going to be bad. I'd, I'd definitely rather have him than anybody else in my corner if I was going into an important match. Every time there's a tournament, he loads up Google Sheets and there's like seven different pages of deck win rates, deck matchups with certain decks versus other decks. When you use statistics and you use them really religiously, which is how we do, I feel like it eliminates a lot of that margin for error, which is really interesting. That's sort of what I, I feel my success has came from this past year, you know. I did really well in a lot of majors. I ended up winning in DreamHack, guiding second in others. I, I have to attribute to Chalky Spreadsheets, I think. I think definitely the goal for the team is being number one ranked. You know, Blizzard's finally doing like an official team rankings thing. And if we were to be the just outright number one, whether it was the first season or the first year, I think that'd be something that'd be really cool to us. And we could look back and be like, you know, at the very beginning, there we were the best. <laughs>